I went to NYU Tisch School of the Arts, Department of Dramatic Writing, where it was a screenwriting program and a playwriting program. And they, your first year, make you take both classes. And then I switched over to playwriting, not having known much about theater actually at all. I still feel kind of new to the art form and to the community of theater, you know, in terms of having seen a lot of theater. And so for the first time in my life, I was seeing kind of straight plays. So that kind of changed my view on things. And all of a sudden, I really liked these classes. I really liked seeing these plays and thinking about writing in this way. And it, it just, it found me, I guess. Gruesome playground injuries, to me, the, the dramatic question that it explores is, you know, why do we hurt, it, hurt ourselves to gain someone else's love or affection? And it all came from a conversation with a friend who I've known my whole life, but I hadn't had any idea of the, the amount of injuries that he had you know, gone through. And as he was telling me all these injuries at different stages of his life, I thought, well, man, you could write a memoir and every chapter could be a, an injury. And then I thought about the, of, of how injuries could chart an experience, a relationship, a lifetime, and that kind of brought me down the path of writing this story about Doug and Kayleen. The, the jumping around in ages was kind of important to me for whatever reason. I, I thought it was an interesting way of telling the story, but it also acts as a sort of the, the way that I think most of us will recount our lives. We never say, you know, started here, then went here, then went here, then went here, but it's more like a, a prism of memory that is disjointed and, and connected through something that is not necessarily time but emotion and sensation and pain. And so that felt like the right structure for the piece. On a deeper level for, for playground injuries, it's, you know, it's, it's about lost love. It's about pain um, and regret. And I know that this, these are things that almost everyone in humanity has some experience with. And you know, it makes sense to me that this would evoke painful memories in the service of meditation and to think about them because I think it's good to think about them.